Well, good. Very early morning, YouTube. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. I uh, just got back from Walmart to get some supplies because the dog that's sitting outside there stinks. He got sprayed by a skunk about an hour and a half ago. So we're going to do a video of the remedy we use to get rid of that skunk smell and it works excellent. Two large bottles of peroxide, one box of baking soda, and a good healthy squirt of Dawn dish soap. Ready to make it up? You, you microwave that, right? Yeah, I warm it up. Warm up the peroxide. Just so it's not as cold. Film for three minutes. So we warm the peroxide for what three minutes each? Yeah. Three minutes each. Put them in a bucket with the baking soda and uh, just a good healthy squirt of the Dawn dish soap. Okay, there's the first first bottle heated. this recipe depends on the size of your dog. True. Heat that one for three minutes. Okay, second bottle is heated up. Again, that's three minutes per bottle just to take the chill off. Add the whole box of baking soda. Nice, good, healthy squirt of dish soap. It's probably a huge tablespoon. Not measuring tablespoon, but a big spoon. That's what I put in it. Alright, we're going to get this moved into the bathroom and get the dog in there and we'll film the cleanup. Okay, here we are. Oh boy, does he stink. So you basically just take a take a washcloth, soak it in the solution, and scrub it in good. Don't ever get the dog wet first. Yeah, water just makes the stink that ten times worse. So this is this is being done on a dry dog. Dry, stinky dog. <laughs> Good thing this isn't like smell too. <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> Once again, the two bottle recipe is good for I mean, he's a he's a large cocker spaniel. Um, we did have to do this well about a month or so ago on the Doberman, and the two two bottles is enough, <coughs> enough to get. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Enough to get her clean. But then again, Doberman's got that short hair, which probably helped. I don't think she got it real bad, though. No. She wasn't near as bad as. No, she didn't smell this bad. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like burnt tires in here. <laughs> no, fresh skunk smells like onion. Horrible strong. And of course, I continually mix this in the bucket. 
because some of the baking soda will settle to the bottom. So I mix it the entire time I'm using it. Of course they say you're supposed to put gloves on. Well, so you found any cuts on your hands yet? Yeah, <laughs> quite a few. Yes, it does, it does make your hands tingle if you're not wearing gloves. And possibly that lingering skunk smell. Well, I don't know if it's because we're used to it, but I don't smell it at all anymore. Already. I don't even know exactly where he got it all, so I'm just doing it all over. Well, he definitely had it on his head. Soak in their eyes, but yet get in their face at the same time. When are you going to learn not to play with the stinky kitties? And I usually scrub their collar with it as well. Are, it stinks too. Yeah. In case you're wondering, yes, we are party animals on a Saturday <laughs> or a Sunday morning. Yes. And sadly enough, this is the third time in about a month we've had to do this. Once with the Doberman. Once with the female Cocker Spaniel. Addie got it. And Addie got it, and now with Kilo. Is it in your nose? He's probably been licking it as well. Probably. Okay. You're supposed to leave it sit for, oh, 10 or 15 minutes. But normally by the time you're done rubbing it on him, it's been on there that long. And especially if you start with the with the obvious, which is the face. Work your way back. Well, now he's facing this way. I can still smell it, too. It's rough getting it, on, getting it off their face. You don't want to get soap in their eyes. Always get all their feet because more than likely they've walked in it as well. Years ago I tried the tomato juice concoction. No, that doesn't work. At all. No, this certainly does. First time that she did this with the Doberman, I was amazed at how the fact that she did not smell at all afterwards. Okay. 
then you use water to rinse it off. Alright, I guess we'll probably end the video there. So we've, we'll recap that real quick. The recipe we used for this size dog was two large, I think 32 ounce bottles of hydrogen peroxide, one box of baking soda, and a, a good large teaspoon of, or tablespoon of uh, Dawn dish soap. The only thing that's name brand was Dawn. Um, it was just the generic Walmart baking soda and peroxide. Scrub it in the dog good. The dry dog good. Never substitute never get them the Dawn dish soap. Never substitute the Dawn. Always use Dawn. And when they're done, when she's rinsed, he's rinsed off, there shouldn't be any, any smell of that skunk at all. So, hope you, uh, hope you get some use out of this, or actually I hope you never have to use this information. But uh, if you do, this will this get that smell out of your dog. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and any questions or comments are always welcome.